Hi, welcome to this one on Tech Talk. My name is Jamie and I'm a vision application engineer. Today I'm going to be looking at the FH vision system using photometric stereo illumination to help improve the image quality of the products that I'm trying to inspect. So the application is to read 10 data matrix codes that have been laser marked onto uh, a product and then it's been wrapped in a clear film. So for this video, I'm literally have three PowerPoint slides. This is one of them, and then we're going to look at the simulator. So I want to do a brief introduction to what is photometric stereo and the theory behind it. So the theory behind it is four lights lit in turn and the vari variation in brightness is analysed then within the processing algorithm within the FH. So you can see here we have a ring light and four quadrants of that ring light are illuminated and each time a quadrant is lit a picture is acquired and then they are all combined together to make one image and gives us either a shape image which shows dense and raised features or a textured image that helps us remove um, things like glare that's caused by wrapping on products. So I want to show you the setup that I had to acquire the images before we actually look at them. Um, a lot of the photometric stereo lights are ring lights and the quadrants can be turned on. For my application, I've actually had to use, um, create my own lighting because the ring light would not fit into the area where it needed to go. So, and, and also the product we're looking at is rectangular. So what we've had to do is use four LED bar lights and they're 30 mil wide, um, two long lights, you can see here where the mouth is going, they are 280 mil long, and the two lights that are appearing vertical on the presentation, they're 98 mil high. So you can kind of get an idea of the, the target size. So it's about 50 mil wide by about 200 mil long. The camera we used was an FH SMR21, which is a 20.4 megapixel camera, and we had a 12 millimeter lens on. On the camera which was approximately 225 millimeters from the pack so as i said the idea is to 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 light the four lights in turn so and this presentation will show you that we are lighting the top light first and the right hand side the bottom light and then the left hand light the resulting image that we get from that we can see in the simulator so if we jump to the simulator now uh, big over um, information overload now so you can see we have those familiar with the FH, we have the flow program down the right hand side, we have our images in the middle and at the bottom I've created a simple data grid that shows you the decoded information for each pair. So I'm calling the left pack pair one, so top, bo top code, bottom code, pair two, pair three, pair four, pair five. Also then looking at the decode times per pair. So you can see here, the longest decode time is on the packs on the right hand side in pair five at 184 milliseconds. And the quickest ones are pairs two and four at 94 milliseconds. So I mentioned earlier that the images, oh, four images are triggered. So if I click on this here, it changes my image in the middle. So you can see here, I've created an image that's lighting it from the top. And my second image is processed. You can see horrible glare here. Third from the bottom and fourth from the left hand side. These are then put into the photometric stereo uh, processing item and the resulting image is that. You can see pretty well defined. Yeah, you can see some decreases in the packaging where it's folded but 
not so many glares. Much glare. So when I trigger the camera in this simulator, it's actually loading four images from my USB stick. So the time we see at the top is not really representational of what we would see in the application. It takes a lot longer to load from my USB stick. So what you'll see me do is trigger it twice because the second time the image is actually in the memory. So we kind of get an idea of what the processing time would be. So we remeasure this one now. The overall time is 452 milliseconds. So you can see there here that the longest decode time is 192. Um, and then we are reading the 10 codes down here. So we have some different images. Yeah. Two seconds drops down to 441. Wait for the information to change because I do have two different packs. So you can see there's a bit of movement in the, my placement, but we're reliably reading the, the packs and that's a completely different pack there. And again, the decode times uh, 185 down to 92 milliseconds. So that's a very brief introduction to photometric stereo. Um, if you have any applications, please contact your local online offices and thanks for watching.